Hi friends, welcome to my channel Only Bio. We are starting off with the very first lecture that is cell, the basic unit of life, which is a very very important uh, chapter right from 8th standard for all the boards. So here we start with cell, the basic unit of life. All living organisms are made up of cells and this is the real reason why cell is defined as the basic structural functional fundamental unit of life. So let's start with this. I define cell as the basic structural and functional unit of life. Now the question is why do we define it so? All living organisms are fundamentally basically made up of cells. Definitely the number of cells can differ from one organism to another. बहुत सारे organisms हैं और number of cells जो उनके body में हैं वो हर animal में अलग अलग हैं. So depending on this we can classify the organisms, the living organisms into two categories as unicellular and multicellular. Now before we get into unicellular and multicellular, let us first understand the basic concept of the cell. As I said, all living organisms are made up of cells. So that is the reason why we call it as a basic unit. Structural unit kyu kaha gaya? Kyuki jo bhi organism hai, chahe wo plant ho, animal ho, bacteria ho, sab mein hai kya? To cells. So jo bhi structure hai organism ka, kai ka bana hua hai? Cells. The functions performed by the entire organism, jo bhi apne body mein functions ho te hai, Ideally, हर एक सेल के अंदर होते हैं, and this is the reason why we also call it as the functional unit of life. I can even call it as a microscopic unit of life because you and me can't see a cell with a naked eye. Depending on the number of cells present in an animal, या in the body of an organism, we can categorize the organisms into two groups that is unicellular and multicellular. Now as the term tells us unicellular, uni means one. So unicellular organisms are those which are made up of a single cell. The best simplest example that we can take is a bacterial cell or a yeast cell. And when I say multicellular, the term tells us multi. So multi is many. So multicellular organisms are those which are made up of many cells. Now coming to the next point. If we compare the unicellular organisms with that of the multicellular organisms, Unicellular organisms are made up of a single cell, but they can perform all the vital functions of the life, which are also performed by the multicellular ones. So there is only a difference in the number of the cells and what obvious the efficiency of their working. But unicellular organisms can perform all the functions of the life, which are performed by even a multicellular animal. Now, Coming to the next, uh, in this chapter where we talk about, we deal with the study of cell, this particular chapter can be said to be as a part of cytology, also called as cell biology. What I need to say is that the study of cell is called as cytology or cell biology. The word cytology is being taken from two words, cyto and logos. Logos, as you know, is a very common word which means study. So cyto is cell and logos is study. So the study of cell is called as cytology, also called as cell biology. Now coming
coming to the next point that is what exactly uh, was the history behind it how did people get to know that there is something existing in the body of an organism that is called as a cell coming to the next point of the same the cell was discovered by robert hooke robert hooke was a scientist who discovered a cell but if at all we do read up in between the lines you will get to know that no doubt the discovery of the cell is under the name of robert hooke but the first scientist who had observed a live cell was not robert hooke but he was anton von leeuwenhoek i repeat he was anton von leeuwenhoek So Anton von Leeuwenhoek was the first person to observe a live cell but the discovery of the cell was done by Robert Hooke Now Robert Hooke how did he get to know that there is something called a cell in the body of an organism Robert Hooke had observed the cork cambium अब ये कॉर्क कैम्बियम होता क्या है कैम्बियम नाम सुनने के बाद ये तो आपको पता चलेगा दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट बॉडी डेली uh, लाइफ में अगर एग्जाम्पल देने जाए जो बॉटल होता है बॉटल के जो दकन होते हैं द कैप ऑफ द बॉटल दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ कॉर्क एंड दैट कॉर्क वॉज समथिंग दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाय रॉबर्ट कुक नाउ वेन वी गेट टू रीड अबाउट द वे इट वॉज बीन डिस्कवर्ड राइट नाउ द करंट जनरेशन माइट लाव कि ये क्या है इतना भी इनको नहीं समझा but try to understand these scientists were the people who had discovered it when they were there was no such microscope the microscope was a simple microscope as good as a magnifying lens and this limited the study of bio in details as we can see this bio also got developed with the development in optical science that is physics when more and more uh, development was seen in the uh, what you can say in the lenses we find that we got to know in depth knowledge we had in depth knowledge of many of the cell organelles that we shall be dealing with later so robert hook was a person who had observed a cork cambium now when he had observed the cork cambium to unhone kya dekha to he had observed structure like this Now from this definitely you can understand that this is something that similar is similar to the honeycomb, right? Now उन्होंने जो देखा that was only the boundary, because at that time he had no idea that there could be something inside this as well, and this is the reason why the term given was cellula, and from which we now call it as cell. Now the term cellular means an open space, a hollow space, a compartment. जो जेल के लिए भी हम कहते हैं जेल में सेल, right? That is a hollow space, right? Similarly, this particular term was being given. Now, आज जब हमें मालूम है कि सेल खाली नहीं है, there is no cell which is hollow, but still the term used is the same because there was no other easier या apt term discovered later. So it is yet used even now. However, it is a misnomer. Now, what I mean by misnomer? Misnomer ये एक ऐसा word होता है जिसका मतलब कुछ और निकलता है या लगता है और होता कुछ और है. So, जब हम cell कहते हैं, cellula कहते हैं, तो उसका ideal मतलब होता है hollow space. पर यहाँ पर कोई भी hollow space नहीं है, right? He had called it as cell because what he had observed was just the cell wall. right and this is how cell was discovered now the simple microscopes at that time of course we won't be dealing with microscopes here because that's uh, basically a part of physics i would say so the simple microscopes have a magnification of almost 100 times the light microscopes which were better than simple microscopes have a magnification of almost 1000 times and now with the advent of the science abhi apne paas jo electron microscopes available hai unka magnification hota hai kareeban 5 lakh 5 lakh times now what i mean by magnification 
सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर बताने जाओ कि मैग्निफिकेशन का मतलब क्या है ई फुटॉल वन पर्टिकुलर पार्टिकल इज ऑफ द साइज एक्स एंड इफ आई से द मैग्निफाइंग कैपेसिटी इज हंड्रेड सो अंडर दैट पर्टिकुलर लेंस ये जो एक्स डायमेंशन का पार्टिकल है वो दिखाई देगा हंड्रेड एक्स मतलब भले सेल ऑर्गनल छोटा सा है पर जब हम उसे माइक्रोस्कोप के अंदर देखेंगे तो वो काफी बड़ा होके नजर आएगा एंड दिस इज हाउ वी कैन एक्चुअली हैव अ डिटेल स्टडी ऑफ एनी सेल ऑर्गेनल